Good afternoon, folks. I um, want to uh, show you today an option for tailgate chains. Uh, you've just spent a lot of time putting a bed together for your stepside pickup truck. Uh, this is a 1954 Chevrolet version, uh, same bed and tailgate that you've had from 1954 through 1987. And you're reluctant to put tailgate chains on this beautiful paint job because tailgate chains are going to swing around, they're going to make noise, they're going to make a mess of all your beautiful work. So I've come up with something here that's a little bit um, more elaborate, a little bit more eloquent than a tailgate chain. Uh, I'm going to call it the uh, S-Link Tailgate Chain Eliminator. And what you got here is a S-Link attached to a block magnet right now. Inside the top edge of the tailgate is a J-hook, which you're going to see deployed very shortly. So in order to make all this work, uh, to open the tailgate, um, I'm going to ask my videographer to come over to the passenger side. And we're going to start by removing this S-Link, and we're going to attach it to a block magnet right here. All right. Let me show you the block magnet. It's nothing elaborate, nothing fancy. So put the block magnet back in place and again temporarily attach the S-Link right there. Coming back to the driver's side, I'm going to uh, take the S-Link, partially open the tailgate, and install the S-Link into its locating position right there. Now I'm going to just reach into the top of the tailgate and I'm going to eject a J-hook. Same thing on the other side. Eject it. And coming back to the driver's side now, we will lower the tailgate and at the same time deploy this J-hook which is articulated at the bottom so that it can pivot forward and nest inside the S-link. Coming back to the passing, I'm sorry, coming back to the driver's side. Same thing. Put the S-Link there, slide the J-hook out. Notice right here that there is a point at which it pivots and it rotates. And I'm going to just slightly lift the tailgate, let it nest into its S-Link, and now you've got your tailgate fully deployed. Now the beauty of this system is, uh, unlike uh, options that are out there, is there is no latch that you have to machine or holes you've got to drill into the tailgate at this point. There is no slot that you've got to machine or cut into the edge of your tailgate to put the uh, links that uh, the other vendors sell. You don't have to attach straps up in here. If you look inside the bed here, you can see there's nothing uh, upsetting the, the, the paintwork that you've, you've done on your, uh, on your tailgate, on your bed. So this is a nice, clean, neat, sanitary installation. And uh, by, by way of installation, guys, it actually takes approximately an hour to install this whole system. To uh, lock things up, what we're going to simply do is, is lift up the J-hook out of its S-link. I'm going to slide it back into its pocket in the tailgate, latch it in place, take the S-link, put it back on its magnet. Coming to the driver's side, same thing. Hide its J-hook, bring the tailgate up, close it, install the uh, S-Link like so, attach it to its block magnet, back to the pass, I'm sorry, back to the driver's side. Okay, we're going to install that S-Link there. Guys, uh, the system I've got here is good for this 1954 through 1987 uh, Chevrolet or GMC pickup truck. Uh, I've got another version which is good for the 1948 through 1953 Chevrolet or GMC pickup truck. So guys, if you like the presentation, if you're interested in this item, you can reach me at uh, my cell number, 636-577-3937, or feel free to uh, email me at dfsld at sbcglobal.net. Hope you enjoyed the show. Have a good day. Thank you.